Hello and welcome back everyone. Today is episode 20 and you know what that means. Every 20 episodes we are doing a world tour and a world download and I guess we should just start from the humble beginnings, right? I mean, that's exactly where we should start, I, I, I believe. I mean, I don't know where else to start. Anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. There will be no comment of the day for this episode just because it is a world tour and a world download special episode. So there will be no world or t comment of the day. But I really do hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do enjoy the video, please leave a like and a comment down in the description on what I should actually do better and what I can do better and just let me know everything in that aspect. So, I guess, okay, so first of all, there's really not much yet to really show in this world just because I kind of wandered off at the beginning and went astray from our path of achievements and goals, but I mean, there's still enough for where it will be kind of fun to do a world tour. And like I said, it's just going to be every 20 episodes, so if there's really not nothing there, that it's just kind of, you know, th that's kind of why. But I say let's get right into this and let's just start from where it all began. So where it all began was right here. First, first or second episode, I am not too sure, we built this house right here. And I think it looks fairly nice for a beginner house. And it's still our current house right now. I mean, we have the roof that is actually really janky. Look at that. Like, it's got stone slabs. It's got wood slabs. It's got stone in there. And it's just not all even and stuff like that. But I think that's what makes this house beautiful and its own unique style. And this, we did go grab an ender chest with, this is going to be a map wall at some point. I mean, it should be really easy to do. We just haven't really done it yet because I've been trying to start building more along so we can have stuff in our actual world. And episode 20, I was kind of working up to this point, episode 20, so that's kind of why we haven't got to any of that stuff. We did get the ender dragon head and I did put it right here on our iron armor stand, which I don't know why, it's just... I mean, we got it, but you know, the funniest thing is when you go like this, and you go like this, <laughs> like, oh my goodness, I have a huge freaking head. Oh, I love it. I love it, though. It's, Mojang did all right on that. Mojang did all right. All right, so moving on, we have our very trusty pink bed, and this is where we keep our wither skulls. Once we get three of them, then we'll go fight the wither and go get that beacon. And I guess we can move out here. So this place is called the Mystical Cove. So when I recommend, or when I say the Mystical Cove, now you guys know I'm talking about this. We have this sweet map. It is actually coming along very nice. As you can see, we got a couple paths. This one needed to be finished, but we haven't got there yet. And this is kind of the wall around it. We just haven't really got to that point either. And then right under here, it looks like there's nothing, but it's actually a little walkway, which is very cool. And then that is nothing over there. So let's actually just go and let's take a look around. Um, this is our little pond, our little swamp pond with some wheat, some melons, some rose bushes, some lily pads, and a little water stream coming out of the hills. It's supposed to be coming out of the hills and then the rocks kind of just crumbled away and the water actually came out and made this little cute pond. Other than that, our pathways, we just have leaves with trap doors randomly placed and some wood fences with torches and some stone, cobblestone, mossy stone, and some stairs as well as some slabs here and there and then coarse dirt as well. And then we have our tunnel, which there's really nothing down there except for strip mining and I don't think you guys really want to see some strip mines. That's not really very fun to watch. Alright, I am sorry about that, but anyways, so we come in here, we have our nice little wheat field. This is one of the very first things we built, and that's the second thing we built was this, and we did kind of custom make this stream, so this wasn't really here, so we made this kind of, 
and we left the tree here and we just we never really finished it there's still a weird water thing going on over there but anyways besides that we did make this custom waterfall which is not I mean fancy by any means but it is there we did do that and we did go over this um, fences we'll get to all that in a second here next I guess we could go down in our storage unit and I did mark most of this stuff off um, as this says a chest and the other one has a something in front of it um, maybe it's a bed I'm not too sure but yeah anyways let's keep on going here and down here we just kind of have a nice path a little bit of mossy stone and stuff like that and some flowers some grass leaching in here because when you run it in here you got dirt on your feet and it just kind of slowly comes in here and then we have these little pockets and these pockets all have storage so we have most of our blocks in here and then we just I didn't know what to do for lighting so I actually took these end rods and just stuck them in here and I think it actually matches pretty good and then we also got one over here and one right here and we only have 36 diamonds right now it's because I really don't mine very often it's just not something I need as of right now maybe in the future we'll probably do a lot more mining but then we have one here with like this is all concrete wool and glass and then we have our farming section this is absolutely empty we have nothing in here and then this back here our little hidden one is our tools our enchantment books our brewing stuff our armor and our weapons and stuff like that and then up in here we have some black stained glass as little spikes kind of with some stone walls and a lot of cow stone and moss stone and a lot of that stuff with some foliage around and I think it looks fairly nice I think it looks pretty good yeah alright and we do have a lot of torches spammed around but I love the look of the torches in this area I think it is absolutely perfect for what we're going for because this is kind of like a swampy area but yeah you understand and the nice looking map I love the map guys so if I look over it more than once that's probably why and then we have this little under cave where we it's kind of like you dig it out and the rocks just kind of crumble on top but they haven't fallen so then we have our nether room did I ever put no see I don't have a item frame for that but we have our little nether room very very simple just a crafting table a couple chests, a little bit of rotten floor and some rotten wood and then just a little water stream but yeah that's about it and there's really nothing in the nether that we've done so yeah that's pretty much it for that then we come out here and then we get to this area here which there's supposed to be chickens and cows in here but there's no cows really close to us so I'm still waiting for a couple to spawn at some point I think we're gonna have to go kill some pigs around here because they're overtaking this area but anyways this is our chicken and cow pen and then uh, there's not supposed to be a fence gate or thing there but there's supposed to be one here then we have this one which is supposed to be pigs and sheep which we only have pigs because again there's no sheep around which is kind of sad but it's whatever and I mean we do have little ponds in here with some wheat um, a little bit of hay going on and some vines and we've got some foliage up top and yeah a little bit of foliage on top here the roofs are kind of just circular type deals that are looking alright but then we have this the guy and up there we have a little you'll see once we actually go in but that's the chimney for it and there's a little bit of smoke coming out this is our furnace room which our smeltery type deal we got a nice anvil here we got a little bit of fire going here we got our ores just chilling over here then we walk in we got some armor that we've been working on we got our smeltery or our forge you can say and that's where the chimney goes all the way up and then we got some more ores up in here and here's all of our furnaces that actually have some stuff cooked in them that I haven't grabbed yet and then we got some more armor that we've worked on and we got another anvil in our crafting bench and we just got kind of a dirty floor because this floor in here when you're smelting you're gonna be working you're gonna be getting dirty and all that stuff now besides that point um, I really do love the chimney though the chimney and the smoke once you if you're over there and you look at it here let's go sleep but once you actually look at the chimney from far away it actually looks really cool like let's just take a step back here and like you can just see it over the just over the edge and it looks pretty dang cool like 
Ah, can, can I get a good view of it? There you go. <laughs> it looks pretty dang cool. I think I like it. It looks really, really neat. It really adds to the build. All right, so let's keep going here. Let's take a nap so it's daytime. But also, look at this. It is beautiful. Anyways, let's let's keep going. Also, I did forgot to I forgot to add that this <laughs> this build right here was in the last episode. It's kind of like our floating ruins. This is just naturally spawned there, and then I just kind of jazzed it up a little bit. And I think it looks fairly nice now. I think it looks way better than what it actually did. It was just a dirt block just sitting there. But now, we kind of incorporate it to our little area here. And I think it looks pretty cool. So if we keep on coming this way here, and go through the pigs. Hello, piggies. And now we got another path going over here. And this cobblestone area is just the fence off where we need to build a nice cool wall that's going to surround this whole area. So if we ever get villages in here, they can't actually get out. So now we have the enchantment room and we got some bookshelves hanging down, kind of like a magical library. We got some bookshelves hanging down. We have a couple bookshelves over here with empty chest, which you can hold enchantment books or lapis if you need, stuff like that. And then you got your enchantment table right here that does reach level 30, which is actually pretty cool. And it's just down one floor. But this building, I really do enjoy the look of this building. Like, look at this. Isn't that, isn't, isn't, is that not cool? Isn't, come on, you can't tell me that's not cool. I think it's fairly cool. And, and then if you go on, you can just run across the middle. And then we're, we'll have another path coming and connecting there. Come on, guys. This building, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> oops, come on. If we come take a look up here like can I get up there no ah dang it let's try that again let's try that one more time Whee! there we go now look at this view guys look at this view it is beautiful and then we have this building over here which looks gorgeous and then these two guys over here which are kind of just completes the build and yeah, that's pretty much it for our little village. Now, besides that, we actually have this stuff over here. Let's go down here first. This is called, nice nice landing. This is called the Unforgotten Treasure. So we come down here, and you kind of have this little water stream. And as you can notice, there's books just random places, right? Yeah, that's because those are the comment of the day. The comment of the day comes in here, and we just randomly place them around, and then they get a spot in the Unforgotten Treasures, which we actually come down here almost every episode because of the comment of the day. Now, these little sections, this is diamond, gold, and redstone. These are kind of tiers, right? This tier is for more like if you are a Patreon to my... If you are subscribed to my Patreon, you get to have your name in here with a diamond block and a custom armor set and stuff like that and it's pretty cool you get your own diamond block and you get to be the first one here it's pretty much like a shout out to you so yeah it's a big shout out I do come in here every day as I said this one is if you make a donation then you get a gold tier a gold block um, a armor stand of your choice and armor and then over here we have redstone which is we have actually one guy in here and this is because he gave us fan mail right so this tier is our creative red tier which you get fan mail which is absolutely awesome so we actually have one of them and I really thank you the H4 set for that fan mail and also we have the ender dragon the dragon egg in here which actually goes along perfect with this because I think it looks fairly nice and we also have this ruin look which is I, I love the ruin look guys I don't know about you but it just it suits it suits everything almost so now if we come up here and bloop, barely made it. So up here was gonna be our original first base, but I decided that I wanted to do something way different and that this was just, just outrageous and just not smart. But then I figured, hey, we could just build farms up here for stuff that we need, right? So that's what we did. We made a nice pumpkin farm, a nice melon farm, and these are automatic. I just gotta sit up here and this is, this isn't like, I've emptied these a couple times, so there's actually a lot of melons that are actually produced up here. Now, this weird looking thing over here, it's, it's, uh, it works, yeah, but, um, it's not fast by any means. It's just a small sugarcane thing in there, which, it's not the prettiest, but hey, it works, right? That's all that matters, if it works. It works, there's actually a couple of mobs in there, as you can see. 
But that's all that's up here. And now I think the last thing we can look at is this thing right here, which we really can't go down. But if we look, you can see the water is turning on and off. Excuse me, I'm just stretching. But it does kind of glitch out. But it is a huge mob farm, and it goes all the way down there. And it's it's pretty intense, guys. There's a lot of mobs, and it does inquire a lot of lag. Uh, it goes down there, and there's a minecart that picks up everything and some lava blocks. And, um, yeah, look at all this, guys. Look at all that. Oops. But this is, I have emptied this thing like to the brim as in one two three four chest full to the brim of stuff like three or four times already so it's pretty pretty insane i would say but yeah i think that's almost it for the world tour guys um we haven't really done anything else besides that i mean we do have our little fish farm over here but it's really nothing special it's one of the first things we built just because i wanted something to I wanted I wanted everything right away, which was a very bad decision, very bad decision on my part. So that was a mistake, but you know what? It's done, and we're living now. We're just living our grand lives. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There will be a world download down in the description if you guys want to join along with me. And I hope you guys really do like this series. I am having so much fun making it, and yeah, so... I guess I'll see you guys next episode. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, sir. It is for free and it really helps me out. And if you did like this video, please leave a like and make sure to go download because I think it'd be pretty cool. And once again, we are playing on 1.12. So we might update soon. I'm not too sure. I just, every all the mods aren't compatible yet. So maybe we, we probably don't even need mods though. I'm having too much fun. I don't even, I don't even recognize the mods anymore. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, leave a like. I will catch you guys all next episode. Deuces. Yo, I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true. But the